Hey everyone, I want to have some fun today and talk about something nobody else does. And well, <laughs> I guess that's kind of what we do every time, right? Specifically this time, we're going to talk about the fit and kind of the reflections you can get in different kind of sunglasses. So whether that's more of a fashion fit or more of a sport wrap or which one you really need to uh, not have the reflection problem. Let's dive into it and have some fun. You know, I should have led into that just a little differently because I'm going to have fun. Hopefully you guys learn something and maybe have a little fun along the way. We'll figure it out. Hmm? So for starters, we're going to talk about more of the traditional fashion fit sunglasses and the problems they are a little bit more prone to with reflections and glare and that sort of thing. So with something like this, you have fairly flat lenses in the frame. So you can see there's not a whole lot of curvature to the frame either, so it's fairly flat as well. What that amounts to is you tend to pick up more reflections on these uh, temporal outside edges here of the frame. So when you're wearing them, if you've ever noticed kind of the reflections and glares, almost looks like more images back here. And in fact, in this case, I'm actually seeing both of these lights here. My beautiful blue and green. Huh. Anyways. So you do pick up some extra reflections and glare on these. One way you can get around that in a fashion fit is a little bit more wrap added to the frame, or if you're doing custom lenses, ask for those to have a little bit higher curvature. It's gonna kind of concentrate that light away from if the lenses are a little bit more curved. Now, the problem with that is as you add more wrap and more wrap and more wrap, whether it comes from the lenses or from the bridge, you get into this situation where you've got a little bit more curvature and squeezing of the head. Now, if the lenses are, sorry, if the frame is already fairly loose to begin with, that's okay. You can get by with that to reduce reflections in that way. In this case, you don't really have that as an option either. So you can get by by adding a little bit more pantoscopic tilt into the frame. Of course, in the case of this frame, you're gonna have a little bit more of a gap up here at that top edge if you do that. So more panto, more wrap, more panto is this way, which is gonna be, basically you would take the temples down to raise that up and create that effect, or more wrap, which is by the curvature of the lenses, or by adding more wrap in by bringing that bridge in, which brings those temples in, either way. The curvature of the lenses helps a little bit more here than anything, and most manufacturers are gonna use a four or six base lens for their stock suns. You see that a lot in Maui as well, but they already have an anti-reflective coating on the backside. And again, if you're ordering custom lenses, that's always an option as well. It's not necessarily the best because it does make the sunglasses a little harder to clean in most cases. So you gotta kind of balance that out for you. If you tend to get your sunglasses dirty a lot, cover them in greasy films, well, that's another story and you do have to deal with that problem. Not a huge fan of that. I take really good care of mine, so I do an anti-reflective coating on both sides of mine. There's a few reasons you wouldn't want that, but not the point of this video. We're not going there today. So hang on to that one, maybe a future video, not today. Another one on the fashion, and this is a really good comparison because the overall fit does matter. In the case of this one, we've got a fairly large lens area, so there is more out past my eyeballs, right? If this is fitted, the eyes are about here, so we've got all that extra area to pick up the reflections. This guy has overall the same fit, but it's a much smaller lens area. So you can see my eyes are almost centered in this one. And here's a quick little hack cheat on this guy, because you can't really see my eyes super good, but if you notice, hmm, that lens area looks real familiar, right? <laughs> These Liebach guys have some fun and so do I. So this guy is kind of cool because it gives you a lot of that coverage anyways without being a super steep wrap. There's a little bit. And again, this is kind of that four to six base area. And I've already put six base lenses in this one to reduce the reflections even further. Another thing you can pick up reflection wise, which is a little bit more problematic and something I'm noticing in this frame because I went so dark on the lenses is even with a higher curved lens, sure, I don't have the reflections out here, but I can definitely see my eyeballs. That's where that pantoscopic or retroscopic or a little bit more wrap really helps. Uh, Anti-reflective coating helps the most in that particular case. Just what it amounts to is the curvature of that lens is bringing all that reflection back into your eye. 
Oh, the fun never ends. I see my eyeballs. This is why I'm a fan of the anti-reflective coating on the backside, at least. Pick your poison, guys, because it's a fun ride. These are all things to keep in mind when you are actually selecting your new sunglasses for the season. And I definitely wanted to address this in spring going into summer because, um, yeah, it's, it's summer season. Everything is bright. Everything is insane. You're outdoors more. You're spending a lot more time outside. And ideally, you would have something like this, where there is a slight curvature to the lenses. The frame is slightly wrapped, but you have everything else is blocked out with a nice little leather side shield here. This is gonna be the kind of ultimate combination of form and function. And eh, maybe it wins out, maybe it doesn't in that uh, fashion look versus function for you. The cool thing with a model like this, and I actually did a review on this one, is those side shields are removable. So if you don't want that look, you don't have to have it. That's what I do like about these side shield type frames is you get kind of that dual utility. And there's a lot of different models from a lot of different manufacturers they're gonna have that. This in particular is the Revo Traverse. Gets the job done. Definitely gives you the coverage here. Nice deep lenses for full coverage, even without those side shields. This is kind of the epitome of it. Now, uh, you know, because of the mirrored lens and it not being fully darkened, you can get some of that eyeball reflection indoors. Hopefully you're not indoors in the lenses and they're mostly dark the vast majority of the time. But there is no outside reflected glare on these lenses. And this is kind of cool because you can see you have that anti-reflective coating on here. Can you? You know what? Maybe these aren't. That would be interesting for Revo. I need to check on that. Now, the epitome of sport and no reflections. This is what you're looking at. And this is your traditional signature sunglasses look. It's that classic nine base lens, a whole lot of wrap in the frame, gives you that full coverage, tucks up nicely through here and over here, and you know, even though the lenses are extended well beyond my eye area, which is nice for peripheral vision, it doesn't really create that backside reflection I was talking about because, well, there's nothing coming in the backside to reflect. <sighs> it's always balanced with these things, guys. So if you're choosing in a prescription pair, whether that's important or not, well, in that case, if the frame fits up really nice, you don't necessarily need that, but it is kind of handy, especially if you're doing a mirror coating. If you're doing a mirror coating on the front, it's no question. Do the backside anti-reflective coating. So I'm looking at my eyes again with it scooted out just a little bit. But ultimately it does come down to the overall fit of the frame. Now there is another little bit of a competitor. These are extremely unusual. It's not something you're gonna see a lot of, but it's another type of wrap frame that's not your traditional sport wrap with the acetate. These are the ones you're gonna find pretty much everywhere. This is the one that's a little bit more different. It's titanium chassis, carbon fiber accents, and it gives you all of that coverage, all of the wrap, fits up really snug against the face. And again, even though it runs a little bit longer, wider, it doesn't uh, give a lot of reflection from the periphery because again, there's no light coming in from this back side. This one is also a photochromic lens. As you can see, you can still see my eyes, which is kind of nice. <sighs> so decisions and choices are to be made here. I hope this helps you make some, make some decisions or at least informs you of some of the drawbacks of uh, other options. Not to say anything bad about these. Super cool frame. But when you do err on the side of more lifestyle fashion sunglasses, you should know there is gonna be a little bit more reflection on the back of those lenses to deal with. If that's something you can't handle, focus on the sport wraps category and have no reflections or light coming around the lenses, which is always good. I'm gonna lean that direction. I say I'm gonna lean that direction. I currently have no sport wraps in my own sunglasses wardrobe, and that's a situation that needs rectified. Uh, direly for a host of reasons. I just haven't found the one, you know? Yeah. Anyways, I'll spare you my ramblings of my personal sunglasses. Maybe we can throw up a poll or something, have you guys vote on one, because <laughs> I'm swimming in options. Anyways, 
I'll catch you guys next time. Hope this video helped. Leave me some feedback down below. Let me know what you thought. If this helped you kind of sway one side or the other on your next pair of sunglasses. Take care.